So I'm going to show you how you can use the Ubuntu Security Guide tool to audit and remediate items from the CIS benchmarks. Before you do this, it's important to note that currently it only supports up to version 20.04 and you also need a Ubuntu Advantage subscription. And I won't go into too much detail about how to do that. It's an account uh, you can create on the Ubuntu website. Um, it's free for up to three personal machines uh, so you can try it out like I'm doing here. So once you make your account for the subscription the next thing you do is install Ubuntu Advantage tools on the server and then you attach the subscription so you use this command UA attach and after that you put your token um, which um, you will show when you log into your Ubuntu Advantage account. So after you've completed that, uh, you can continue with the installation of USG. Uh, so I just go here to installation, um, and these things you've already done. So install UA client, attach the subscription. So the next thing to do is to set up Ubuntu Security Guide. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is UA enable to enable USG. Okay, and it says Ubuntu Security Guide enabled. And the next thing I'm going to do is install USG. Okay, so when that's finished, you're ready to start using the USG tool. So the next thing I'd like to do is use the audit command, um, which will generate a report, and you can see the score for the benchmark and you know where you're at for each item. Uh, it creates an HTML and an XML report, and that's the directory where it saves it on the server. So what I need to specify here is the profile. So I'll go here to compliance and the one I want to use is the level 2 server profile. So I'll just copy the profile name over here and then now it will go through and audit all of the items and uh, generate the report. Uh, so this can take a few minutes to do so I'm just going to pause the recording Okay, so when it's finished, it will show you this message that it saved the scan results um, in that directory. And after that, uh, you can uh, copy the reports off of the server and uh, view them on your computer. So I've already done this, um, this uh, audit on the same image before, so I'm just going to open the report. So when you look through this, um, you can see this was the score, so 65%, um, the number of passed rules, the number of failed rules. Um, you can also exclude anything that's passed or fixed here and just see the, the failed rules. And when you click on a particular item, you know, it will show you more information about that rule and it shows you the shell script that you can use to remediate just for that particular rule. And there's also an Ansible uh, snippet there. Yeah, so once you've looked through the report, uh, the next thing you'll want to do is to go ahead and um, run the remediation using the USG tool. So there's different options for that. Um, one way of doing that, if you have USG installed on the server like this, you can just do USG fix and the name of the profile and it will go through and remediate as, as much as it can from that benchmark. There's always going to be a few items left over that, um, that need to be manually done. Um, and uh, the second thing you could do is 
generate a script like a shell script um, using this command and you put the profile here and once you generate that script you can copy it and you can use it on your similar server so you wouldn't have to uh, install USG on there. The other thing that you can do is actually tailor the benchmark or customize it. Uh, maybe you don't want to remediate all the items or you want to change a particular value in the item. So you can do that with this command. So you'll start by generating the, the tailoring file. Uh, so this one, the output is going to be called tailor.xml and right before the file name is where you put the name of the profile that you want to tailor. So in this case I'm just going to copy over CIS level 2. Okay, and then press enter and it shows you that it created that tailoring uh, file there. So once you have the tailoring file um, it shows you some examples here of how you can change things. So like over here for this item you can change selected equals to true or false. When you select false that disables the rule. So what I've done is copy the tailoring file off of the server. So I'm going to go and edit some of the items on there now. And I'm just going to do a find and then type in lockout and right now the lockout policy is configured to six attempts so I'm going to change that to three. Um, the next thing that I want to change is right here so the password expiration so I want to change this policy to 90 days so I'll just go in here do 90 days okay and when you're finished you just save the file and then uh, copy it back onto the server and you're ready to do the next thing which is uh, fix using the tailoring file so I'm actually just going to copy all of this here okay and I'll run that okay and um, this is going to take uh, a while to do uh, especially for some items so I'm going to pause the recording Okay, so when it's finished doing the remediation, you'll see this message. The reboot is required to complete the fix process. Uh, so I won't go through that in this video. Uh, but essentially you would just reboot and then run the audit command again like we did previously. And uh, it will generate a new report. So I do have the report that I generated after the remediation and you can see it ends up being at 91 percent um, and these are all the different items here and I can filter out the ones that are passed and fixed and then it will show the ones that were failed um, there's one here that's not checked so that's pretty much all there is to it um, I will be leaving links to all of the documentation that I used um, in this video in the description. Um, and also I want to mention that I used uh, Linode to run this server on. And I'm going to include a referral link in the description for Linode. And if you sign up using my referral link, you can actually get $100 credit uh, to use within Linode.